Hi, this is John Malvey from My Bookkeeper Software. In this video, we're going to talk about credit card and debit card expense payments as well as cash payments within Bookkeeper. From the Bookkeeper homepage, you'll notice that there are two icons in the payable section. One is for credit card and debit card payments and the other one is for cash payments. In these areas here, you can be able to record your transactions by either paying with a card or paying cash or electronically. So let's start with the, the credit card payment icon. When I click in here, Bookkeeper wants to know which card I want to use. I can set up cards that are credit cards or debit cards. If I set up debit cards, they'll be linked to a big bank account that you have set up. Credit cards don't have to be and credit cards you can reconcile with a bank credit card transaction statement that you download from your bank and you can reconcile there. If you don't have any cards set up, you can either easily click on the link here, which brings you to the card maintenance screen, and in here you can set up a credit debit, and you notice that if I do select debit, it's going to want to know what bank account I have linked to that. And just so you know, if I do use a debit card transaction, it will automatically debit from that bank account. Credit cards will not. And you can also get this, I'll just show you really quick. You can, in your company from your menu, you can also get to the same screen by setting up your company debit and credit cards. Just a couple ways to get there. So back here, I'm just going to select a card in the list. And for my vendor, I can either enter a vendor that's already in my list or I can type a brand new vendor and that will automatically get added to the list. So let's say I want to choose the, the post office and in here because I had set up the post office with a vendor of uh, with an account of postage it automatically gets set and I can set some amount and I can type in whatever for a memo and I just save it and I'm done just that fast so there are other things if you need to go find you can pull up some transactions that were before here I can double click on it pull it up make any modifications that I want to in this case because it's a it's a credit card I can't say that I reversed this because let's say you've already made the charge but you disputed the charge you need to reverse it. you can click that here and it'll reverse the transaction Okay, if I, I can click on new and create a new, if I went to the debit card, again, not much difference here except anything that I put in here. So if I went to the coffee shop and I put in $4 for coffee, um, it will automatically debit from my credit card. And I click save and just like that, it's done. So let's say I have something where I go to the office supply store and maybe I bought a couple things on a couple different accounts that I want to record. Okay, so maybe under office supplies, maybe I bought some paper for $20, but then maybe I bought some computer hardware or computer software and for $100. So I can either just add a line item here or if I'm on here, I can just click the enter key and that'll get, bring me to a new line. So now this transaction is split. So my GL account will reflect both of these transactions, but I can do them in, in a single transaction here, which makes it nice and simple. I'm going to save that and I'm done. So new, we'll create new transaction. Save will save the current transaction you're working on. Find will bring up the find screen. And here you can do a search either by card, payee, by account, amount, date range. You can do, you can double click on a single line item or you can pull up multiple. If I clicked on detail, it'll pull one up at a time. And in the upper right hand corner here, you'll see a navigator that allows me to go through all the different four of them that I selected and be able to work on them. And I can change the amounts on one or you know update them as necessary. If I want to get back to that list, I just click the list button and it'll bring me back to the find screen. I can assign a job if I had a job set up that, that I want to assign this transaction to. I could do that as well. And it'll also show the charged amount and any reversed amount of any existing transactions. 
so for card transactions, that's really all there is. It's just a very, a very simple way to be able to kind of manage your transactions using cards, either debit or credit. Oh, the, the bills button here, if you had payables that you wanted to pay for a particular vendor, you could do click the bills button and it will show up any payables that need to be paid. So in this case here, if I had something from the auto repair shop, Normally, as soon as you select a vendor, Bookkeeper says, hey, you've got some bills that need to be paid for this vendor. Would you like to select them? And you can, and it'll show up, and you could select that. And if I do select that and click OK, it brings the transaction in. But let's say I had forgotten it. I'm in the middle of a transaction. I want to go back and pay the bills. It'll bring me back up to the same screen where I can select it from. More on payables will be happening in another video, but that just shows you what this, uh, what this button would do. So I'm going to close out of here and I'll jump over to the cash payment. This is almost identical except that you're not using a card. This one is going to be against the current bank account that Bookkeeper is working with right now. If you do want to change bank account, you can just click it here. It'll bring you up to the change current bank account screen where you can just change bank account and say, oh, I want to use this account instead. You click OK. Bookkeeper changes the account. And note that when you change it here, you're also changing it for all other transactions within Bookkeeper. Bookkeeper now thinks it's working with this bank account. And most of the times in different areas, you can always switch a bank account that way. You can do it from the, the banking menu here. There's an option to change your current bank account. Always remember that Bookkeeper works on a single bank account at a time, um, but you should be able to change it just by doing what we did here, clicking on the link and changing. Again, you select the vendor. So again, go into my coffee shop. If I pay for it in cash, I can do that. And a transaction saved. Now, if I have in the dropdown, I didn't bring this up on the card payment, but with the, the vendor, so let's say I'm at the hardware store and I want to make any changes to the current vendor. If I click on the little vendor link, I can immediately add a new vendor. I can edit a select the, the vendor that's here in the list or I can view the, the entire vendor list and make some modifications there. It's just a quick way to get into your vendor management section. But let's say I have a, a new vendor. I'm typing in. Bookkeeper will say, hey, we didn't find this in the list. Would you like to create a new entry? You can say no because maybe you mistyped something. Or you can say, yeah, I want to create a new one. And so you can do that. Type in whatever memo and let's just say it's for travel and put in whatever amount you want save the transaction and you're good and now that vendor you created now be, appears in your vendor management list and it'll also remember if I typed in new vendor it automatically appears and then you can select the account travel and enter another transaction. Now, if you're doing, if you have expenses that you want to reimburse for a vendor, this is primarily if you have a contractor working on your site that maybe you pay them through the payroll process as a contractor, but maybe they have certain expenses that you want to be able to pay them. You can click on the expense button here, and if I had one set up, you'd be able to oh, say no there. It would pull up any expenses that would need to be reimbursed for this vendor. And getting into vendor expenses will be something we'll tackle in another video. But it just shows you can pull, you can reimburse those uh, expenses for the vendor here at this time. Yeah. Other than that, the the fine screen works the same way as we saw. You can filter by any of these combinations. I can double click, pull up a transaction. Um, bills work the same way if I want to delete this transaction. And do that and the transactions deleted so those are the two easy ways to be able to enter transactions either with your card or with cash um, a lot of our customers use the cash transaction for electronic payments so let's say you're paying something directly from your bank account online and you're making a transaction that way uh, you can record that here as well that's another easy way to do that you know, so anything that would hit your bank account directly you can use as a cash transaction detail. And that's it.
So that's how you can enter transactions with this way. Watch for more videos on how we can do this with checks and how we do with payables. So thanks for watching and thanks for being a bookkeeper customer.